everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here then thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today's video is some ikea hacks i am a huge fan of looking through pinterest or instagram and seeing different hacks that people do on the ikea products i love ikea i think it is just filled with so many hidden gems absolute bargains things that like some people do things with the products that I just think wow I just would never even thought of that and it's amazing um so I did three of my own little hacks I bought a desk recently the Malm desk well dressing table slash desk because I'm using it for both basically which I'm so happy with also I bought a lampshade and I also bought this like little wooden um chest of drawers which I have hacked and made much more my styles I'm gonna leave any details of products in the description box down below or if I can't find the exact product then it's something very similar so I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will show you exactly what I did so the first hack is a very simple easy one on the IKEA Malm dressing table this is around 89 pound and it is one of the most popular products on IKEA that I see so many people um, have on Instagram all I'm doing is taking off the glass top which comes with the dresser and just putting some wallpaper paper literally just cutting around the top of the dressing table and then fixing the glass back onto the top of it this is just some wallpaper that i've had for years because it's what i have on the fireplace in the living room you could get wallpaper samples you could use the dc fix it paper absolutely anything you could probably use some really nice wrapping paper if you wanted to i just think it makes it that little bit more glam i also got this gorgeous footstool from amazon and it's got loads of storage in it as well so i'm just making it a little bit more luxurious putting these gorgeous lamps from B&M on there. The mirror is from Dunnell Mill and just adding a few girly sparkly bits and I just think it makes it look that little bit more special. Okay, so the next little project was this Mope, I think I'm saying that right, mini chest of drawers. Um, it's £25 in Ikea. Now, I changed this, what I was going to do with this, a few times. So, first I was going to have it just white, which you can see me here, spraying it all over, um, and then I was going to make some like little silver details on it with some silver paint, and then I decided that I didn't quite like that, and I wanted it to match my dressing table so after painting it silver and white and trying out all different things i decided that i was going to wrap all of the outside and the fronts of the drawers with the same wallpaper that i had used for the dressing table again you could use some of the lovely dc fix it sticky back papers that you can get like they've got some gorgeous marble ones I went for this, like I said, because I wanted it to match and I already had it and it's obviously going to cost a lot less if I'm using something that I've already got. So I'm using a little craft knife and I'm just cutting around the edges and then making sure that it's all glued down on the sides. I've then done exactly the same with the drawers, but I've actually turned the drawers around. So I papered the backs of the drawers because the front has those little lips in it, which I didn't really want. And then I got some of these very inexpensive little drawer handles from Amazon, which I have just super glued on the front there. And I just find this really good for keeping lots of like little beauty products. And I'm really pleased with how it turned out in the end, even though I changed my mind about it several times about how I wanted it to be. Um, but I do think that that is one of those really versatile products in ikea and i've seen some really amazing hacks with that and makeovers with it on pinterest it's definitely worth having a look um, and you can just decorate it to your taste and then change it up again it's just great storage i've seen people putting like coffee pods and things in them so yeah this is how i decided to do mine and i'm very very happy with how it turned out The next hack I think is actually my favourite. This is using the Regolit 
pendant lampshade so it is just two pound in ikea i also bought some of these feather boas that rudy thought were for him from amazon i will link them down below and i literally just glued them using some like podge modge sort of style glue like pva little brush glued them all when rudy let go of them to the lampshade which was so quick and easy i used around five feather boas from amazon like i say they're about five pound each glued them all to the lampshade and it just makes this amazing feathery light shade and i think it looks really nice when the light is shining through it i have seen these for much more expensive or for much smaller so yeah this is one that i'm really pleased with and i just have it hanging up in my bedroom i just hung it up with some string onto the existing light fittings and yeah i'm really really pleased with this one there we go let me know what you thought of my little diys i will just say for the light shade which i forgot to mention when i was doing the voiceover i use in my light is a very low wattage bulb because i know that some people might be concerned about um it getting over if it getting hot or you know like fire hazard or anything like that i use a very low wattage in there and yeah i've had absolutely no issues with that so i think as long as you use a bulb that it doesn't get crazy hot or bright then there shouldn't be any issues with that anyway but um yeah i've had no problems so i hope that you enjoyed today's video and i would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up if you did um let me know down below as well any other things from ikea that are worth getting and then hacking um because i just think they're just the most fun little projects ever and really inexpensive as well i've left as many links to things down below as i can and yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i would love to see you again for my next one bye everyone <laughs>